Fragile Water is a song that seems to be really um, capturing people's um, kind of emotions and uh, it's a song that people seem to be really happy to identify mm -hmm. with in their own ways, obviously, totally personal to them, which is interesting since it's a song that I originally gave quite a, quite a deliberate um, a purpose, to, purpose it, yeah. to. I wanted to write a song, as we've said before about Insta, it's about transformation, so mm. I wanted to make that quite, um, quite clear and write about people who were having or who had had um, d transformations from mm -hmm. a gender they didn't feel like they were to the gender they were, yeah. they felt they were meant to be. Which of course is quite an interesting thing for me to decide to do because that's not my own personal experience no, no. necessarily. So there's that question of what am I articulating? And what different stories and parts of that and tendernesses do I need to acknowledge? And at what point do I step back? and just write the emotions and the feelings and I think that's a big part of the um, the songs well success or you know um, functionality and right. durability is that maybe I got the balance right yeah it, people are able to access what they need in it mm. without it being I don't know too because well, it's not but your writing isn't prescriptive it too doesn't, concrete yeah exactly it doesn't say this is how I feel this is what I think you should do etc etc it's not it's not black and white like that mm. and it is it is the it's the emotive side of stuff mm. and the the yeah the, el the eloquent emotion yeah it's contacting but, that emotion yeah. that and actually it doesn't matter song. it doesn't matter whether whether the person who is re receiving the song is feeling the same period of transformation transformation uh, or or on on you know unrest that that you're writing about it could be something completely different. That's right, yeah. That and and that's why I think you know it's, it is quite a matriarchal song. It is quite a mother. It's meant mm. to have a sort of motherly mm. narrative to it. It's basically kind of two voices. There's mm -hmm. a sort of mother, loving, unconditional voice yeah. saying, "Be who you feel you want to be," mm -hmm. and then there's the other voice, which is actually I think is the tension and the the speaking of the difficulty and the. Mm the whatever you know the the slightly darker aspects and the things like after winter spring seems somehow colder it's that idea that actually everything's a transformation everything is a a move to a next stage but there is no there is no end point no. really for us um, no, it's con constant so fades it's aren't they? Co yeah constant changes mm. constant unfurlings and hatchings and all that um, some of which are difficult and some forms are harder to inhabit than others so so it's meant to have all that sort of well, complexity. I think it's a really complex song, and I'm still not quite sure how I did in the writing of it. I'm not sure how how well I said what I needed to say, but it's really interesting to observe um, people's reaction, and mm. people are interested in in talking about it. When we first performed it, we none of us had played it before. Have yeah, we? you wrote it. We well, we written it on tour. You'd written it on tour. Yeah, we went away, and you said if you're going to write this song, we need a bit of time to mm. actually do it which is quite important really yeah. and sometimes you need someone to say that to you that you actually need to put a boundary around mm. your writing and do it in that space and time with no other distractions mm. which is what we did yeah and um and then yeah I think of all my songs it is the only one I think you could play without knowing yeah and we, we did we went in to play uh, here at Yellow Arch and you kind of went, this is more or less how it goes. Mm -hmm. And the sound of, of us performing just then is pretty much how, you know, the, that's the sound that I took. Yeah. And we, we added a few little extra bits of layers in there. But yeah. it's all, again, it's all these just different different layers is kind of what the song's about as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah. Which, which layers come to the surface at different points. Yeah, but it's very warm and it's meant to be very encompassing so mm. people can feel, I don't know, maybe we feel safe about what we're hearing in the words if the music encompasses us so Absolutely. it's not it's not it's not being too comfortable it's not coziness but it is a sort of holding really that's what they talk about in like in music in healthcare and mm. therapy and stuff it's like that the music can can hold the situation or the moment um, and hold the people so that you can have those thoughts and that that conversation if you like in the middle of it and it, yeah it's really um, I I love it actually mm. I must say uh, it's the, uh, the the song on the album that I think is most just the, kind of most sums up the sort of sense of yeah unconditional sort of love and, and openness to 
to different voices because we can't just have the same stories all the time. But just because the folk, you know, uh, canon, if you like, tends to tell a certain type of romantic story or gendered story or whatever, you know, we, you can always look into corners and find something that tells, that turns something on its head. And in fact, sometimes that's the whole point of the song, the whole point of the ballad or the traditional story is that it, it takes that and it flips it. So to me, to be thinking that that's an unusual thing to do with a folk song, that's an unusual narrative, it's just but not. it's not no. at all. I've, I actually think they were always there, but it's just sort of teasing it up to the surface.